again, everyone, and welcome to the Dan McShane Show. I'm Vince Reed. Well, as you know, we're brought to you by the uh, Pensbury Recreational Basketball League, which is great for all kids. It doesn't matter how young or how old. And also brought to you, of course, by Aria Health, your friends and neighbors right here in Lower Bucks County, and also by the Continental Tavern, where you not only get great food, you'll also get a chance to watch all of our games on their TVs there as they stream them live for you each and every game, home or away. Right now, we're going to talk to head coach Dan McShane. And first of all, as uh, congratulations on your first game and a win. Thanks, Vince. Yeah, it's nice to get it all the way. You know, it was a uh, uh, hopefully, hopefully first amendment. Well, when you, you look at it, coach, of course, there's so much taken away in that opening game for any coach. Uh, you know, here you are, you take over a program here, you're trying to instill exactly what you want to have happen. Uh, how would you look at this game and say, okay, we did some things right, I know we're gonna, we would do some things wrong, we're kind of inexperienced, but at the same time, you did come away with a W. What did you like about your ball club? Well, we like the defensive side. Uh, you know, we've been in that for five years now, so that's kind of, we were hoping just to transition kind of easily to that, and we think we did. Uh, the special teams, uh, you know, we kind of field goal, we cover kicks fairly well. Um, offensively, you know, this time of year offenses tend to be a little bit behind the defenses, and, you know, we realize we've got a couple ways to go there, so. I know one of the things I, I really was uh, happy about when I saw, noting that you only had two guys on the defensive side of the ball, and not knowing, let's face it, a lot of names that you had in there compared to the last few years where you had guys who played like three years together, you know, coming up, and even some from freshmen. But uh, this year, there's so many new names in that uh, in that defensive lineup. I thought they did a nice job for an opening game. Yeah, against a, a pretty good Frankfurt team, and, and uh, you know, we got you know we did decent. You know, we always talk about stopping the, the run offense first, and and we give up you know big plays. So uh, we we accomplished lots of our goals, you know, and so uh, we can build on that with a like a really young group. Yeah, and one of the things, of course, you you got to settle on too is the fact that. You, you come out here, you get the win, they play very well, and you got to let them know that, hey, Dan, this is only one game, and you guys only play together for one game. You know, sometimes you get that win, you play well, and you think it's, oh, well, we're there. You're not there. You know, a long way to go, long way to go. And obviously, you know, it, 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 uh, the, the road gets a lot bumpier going against, a, you know, a really, really uh, typical LaSalle football team, and then North Penn behind that. So it's, uh, we're, we're going to have to really step up our game. From what you looked at after the game and looked at films of the, of the ball game, where do you think uh, you know, there are some guys in some different spots defensively that really played well? Yeah, well, it, it starts with the front four, and you know we want to play on their side of the ball. We felt like you know uh, we, our, our, our D tackles did a good job of that, and uh, our linebackers got downhill again and, and, and didn't allow run you know, yards after contact. So we're really our front six. You know, we play a lot of eight-man front defense, and, and we want to control the typical high school uh, run offenses that you see. So we felt real good about that. Yeah, I thought one of the things for sure, it, it looked uh, very good for an early season ball game, was the fact that, yeah, your, your guys did get through that line. They did make it tough on, on the, the backfield for the opposition because they, they made it through there quite often. Yeah, well, it's one of the things, you know, we, we move a lot up defensively up front, you know. It, it, a lot of times we ask our guys to play straight through people, but there's a lot, many, many times we're going to ask our guys to, to, to move, and we, you know, typically we're an undersized defense, so we try to capitalize the place you know, with our speed. All right, we're going to be back with more here on the Dan McShane Show right after this. ER Express is the newest online reservation system for patients in Bucks County with non-life-threatening illnesses or conditions to reserve a time online to be treated at ARIA's fast care, urgent care, or emergency departments. ER Express streamlines evaluations so patients are treated more quickly, and best of all, it holds your reservation while you're in the comfort of your own home. Please remember, patients who experience major injuries and traumas should always go immediately to the emergency department. Reserve your spot online now with ER Express. Visit ariahealth.org slash ER dash express. That's ariahealth.org slash ER dash express. And we're back once more here. We talked about the defense a bit in the opening game of the season against Frankfurt. We'll talk about the offense now as far as that goes when it comes to Pensbury's first game of the year. And of course there are some new people in different positions this year compared to what we've seen in past years again as they only had two returners really coming back 
on the offensive side of the ball, and uh, a couple of those were linemen, and also the fact that uh, they had to go with uh, a quarterback who, who got to fill in, realized maybe a couple of weeks before the season that the first string quarterback was injured and would not get back right away. However, he did uh, make a nice move back in early in the first game of the year, but I'll tell you what, uh, it was uh, Sot Robbins who did a really good job for you to get to uh, to the point where you were able to put in uh, DeMarcus in there. Yeah, and Mason stepped up and, and, and interned the past four weeks as, as a quarterback, and you know, we kind of knew at some point Zach would come back, and we hoped to get you know through this game without using Zach, uh, but we got to the point at halftime where we, you know, we thought we had to go in a different direction. Yeah, when you, when you look at that and, and you see where you have a guy, and I mentioned this about the fact that, uh, you know, sometimes you get into that situation where you've got to use somebody in a hurry to, to get in there. And it, he was a guy, Robbins is a guy that, as he told me, he had played at the earlier levels, like in junior high, the quarterback position, so it wasn't new to him. He liked the offense and the fact that, you know, he was mobile, it was spread, he could run around a little bit. And uh, certainly it, he held his own until the, you, you got in there and, and got your man in. Yeah, I mean, Nassan could really hold up the, the run part of the quarterback run game that we, that we uh, employ. But, you know, pass offense is a little more uh, sophisticated. Yeah. And, uh, and we kind of, again, we kept a lot of our stuff in the toolbox. We didn't ask him to do too much and put too much on his shoulders. But he can run the football for sure, whether it's running back or quarterback. You know, when you, when you looked at the ball game, too, and you saw yourself early in the game, here you are in the first half, you're in the red zone three times, you couldn't come away with it, and I thought you did the wise thing the last time, and kick the field goal and get those points on the board at that point, but uh, I'm sure what did you wanted to see, you want to see some sixes up there. Yeah, you got to be efficient in the red zone, we, we, we defined it, a high red zone, low red zone, we were down there in a low red zone, 10 yard line and in, and, and came away with zero points, and that's a, you know, that's, that's an issue, you know, we, you know, there's too many good football teams out there, you can't throw away those opportunities. So. You know, one of the things you're, you're looking at, of course, with your team uh, and, and everybody sees, of course, you, you got those those scat backs, I like to call them, the guys who are maybe not that big, but they're certainly the guys who, if they open up a hole for them, they can be gone in no time flat. They got the really speed. And the thing, too, is you can see settling back when the, you ended up getting uh, DeMarcus back in there. Nason seemed to be right at home in the backfield. Yeah, I mean, uh, I've had numerous comments from people, how from players to outside people, parents, on how common of an influence that Zach, and coaches too, by the way, yeah. bring us to the offense and just turn, you know, be able to turn around and hand the ball to Mason. And, and we have some other guys in the mix too we can hand the ball too, but, uh, you know, he's, he's the guy we ask, you know, we ask all our backs, take care of the ball and run north. And uh, he's one of the guys that, that does that the best for us right now. And I noticed the, the same thing, and, and I had, uh, had a chance to say something to, uh, boast about the, you know, him last year and his big run back for a kickoff return when he got in the game. He's another guy that uh, you can count on can spring at any time. Yeah, we're, we're looking for explosive plays, whether it's offense or defense, and, you know, obviously Nate's on, but, you know, Nate, same thing. He, he had a couple last year, and, and uh, he, he is uh, relatively new in a running back position in our offense. He played a little bit in the wing last year, uh, but, uh, you know, he's, he, you know, we asked him to do a few more things as far as like reading, you know, reading uh, defensive lines, things like that, and cuts that he has to make. So uh, we're confident in him. He's a physical kid and he's explosive, obviously. So. Well, I, I thought another thing that I was really happy to see was the fact that, you know, you end up getting down six to three, and here you go now, and it's looking like, hey, this is the first time we're behind. We're in a situation where we got a score now, we're in the last quarter of play. And I, I thought a couple of those passes, one to your receiver who did a great job of making some moves and get you some yards and then DeMarcus throws it up there and then you get, you know, anybody's ball and your man goes between guys and comes down with it. And I thought those those two situations of passing plays there ended up being key and also giving you the chance, of course, being at the goal line now to get a score. So the, the fact that they didn't fold when they came from behind the first time, you think to yourself, you don't know how young kids are going to react. Exactly. And they're not moving the ball on the ground as well as you had hoped. But the thing is, you know, they came through with the plays that you really needed at the end. Yeah, I mean, we, we tell kids, you know, when you play a football game, or in life for that matter, but expect bad things to happen, expect good things to happen. But in the end, you've got to be mentally tough. Things aren't going your way. You're trying to find a way to, to make it go your way and, and expect to win a football game. So uh, it wasn't going to be all wine and roses out there, and it wasn't, So, but we grinded through it. All right, we're going to talk about the upcoming ball game, which is against LaSalle, coming up shortly on WBCB. 
And I'm going to tell you a little bit about Aria Health and friends and neighbors here in Bucks County. If you need help whatsoever, something happens to where you need an emergency, give them a call right away or get over there to Aria Health. They're right there in Oxford Valley to take care of you. They've been doing a great job since they've been there for everybody here in the Lower Bucks area. We're also brought to you by the Pensbury Recreation Basketball League. This is one that uh, you can go to on Saturdays. doesn't matter what age. You can bring your youngsters, boy or girl. Learn the game of basketball right. They're the ones who have been the ones who've gotten teams ready. Uh, guys who go up, uh, the girls as well, to the, uh, to the high school ranks. A lot of them came out of the uh, PRBL, the Pennsylvania, the Pennsylvania Basketball Recreation League, which has been here a long time. They know what they're doing. They know how to school the kids, and they'll show them properly how to play the game of basketball. And, of course, another one of our sponsors is the Continental Tavern over there in Yardley, and the Continental's got everything for you. Good food, no doubt about that. They have the steaks, they have chops, they got seafood, they got some of the best burgers you're gonna have anywhere. Their dishes are, are good, including their salads. You just can't beat it. Also, they have, of course, all their TVs are set right here with us on the Interstream as they get an opportunity to show you all of Pensbury's games, home and away, live and in action. And this year, of course, the uh, Pensbury Channel has done a great job I got a chance to look after the ball game was over at what they accomplished. They have uh, four cameras there. Uh, we have cameras where they can give you all kinds of angles. They've done a really professional job, and also the picture is fantastic. So you're going to like looking at that at the Continental. And there's a lot of other places now that are showing it as well. We look for you to follow Pensbury at that location and some others around the area as well. We'll be back with more with Coach Dan McShane right after this. Merrill Reese, here to tell you about my good friends at Haldeman Ford Subaru on Route 33 in Hamilton Township. For outstanding sales and service, you can depend on the folks at Haldeman Ford Subaru for the best value on new and pre-owned Ford cars, trucks, and SUVs, along with a great selection of value-priced new and pre-owned Subarus. And no one offers the service that Haldeman does in their huge, state-of-the-art service facility. Service so great that many area municipalities and commercial fleets get their service performed by Haldeman Ford Subaru. From Langhorne to Princeton, folks like you to commercial fleets trust the name Haldeman for sales and service. Haldeman Ford Subaru, Route 33 in Hamilton Township. Merrill Reese here to tell you about our good friends at McCaffrey's Food Markets. McCaffrey's is growing and is now open in Doylestown and Bluebell. But Jim McCaffrey and his family never forget their roots. And that's why they continue to support our local schools and are proud to support Pensbury and Council Rock and other schools in the area. Many students are employed at McCaffrey's. And McCaffrey's food markets feature the finest prepared food department for those always on the go. From healthy salads to prime cuts of steak and fresh seafood dishes, you'll always find something for your family to enjoy McCaffrey's prepared food department. And for everyday exceptional value, it's McCaffrey's Food Markets, locally owned and operated by Jim McCaffrey and his family in the Edgewood Village Shopping Center, 635 Heacock Road in Yardley, in the villages of Newtown, 2890 South Eagle Road, also in Princeton, West Windsor, and now open in Doylestown and we're back Lincoln. once more with the Coach Dan McShane of the Pensbury Falcons. And, of course, uh, this week he takes on the, a team that's been a power, not only in the Philadelphia Catholic League, but also been a power statewide. Matter of fact, it was the first parochial school to win a title. Many people thought years ago it was going to be St. Joe's, but it was the Sound, Drew Gordon's ball club at that time, who ended up getting the first victory for them. Of course, they've had many since. And right now, they're looking at uh, coming back. That's right, they lost. And they lost to a very good North Penn ball club. They had beaten North Penn, no problem, year after year. But North Penn came at them this year. They didn't have their starting quarterback, who uh, wasn't with the ball club. And they had to go to a second quarterback there. But at the same time, they did a good job of coming back, just like the, this ball club had to come back from six down. They had to come back from even further down. But it's LaSalle, no matter what. Uh, you know, Coach, that you know you come against a Deb or a St. Joe's type ball club, you're going to have a tough game. Yeah, and they've been struck with the coaching. They're very well coached, and, and, and they have good players. And a very simple formula. You know, when you, you look at LaSalle, you know, I don't know if you had a chance to, to see any film of them or anything, and you remember having played against them. I thought, really, 
uh, the bowl game uh, last year when you played LaSalle, I thought the defense played extremely well. Of course, you had a good defense there that was coming back. They had a lot of seniors on the ball club, and they played extremely well. And I, I, I was really even surprised, matter of fact, with LaSalle. I know they'd like to throw it up there, too. But, uh, you know, one of the things you're going to have to do this week is the same thing, have that deep play a big game like they did this first game. Yeah, I mean, you know, they have one of the best running backs in the state, and you know, everything goes through him, and, and, and they have enough of the pass offense to kind of to make a nice make a, you know, a nice mix of, of, of running pass. So uh, there's a lot of field to be defended with these guys. When you're looking at uh, your ball club and then taking on the uh, South team, uh, what have you done this week to try to get the kids to realize that, hey, you know, every game you do, you're moving up the ladder, you're playing some better competition, this is going to be a tough ball game, but there are things that you have to do and do right. Maybe some of the mistakes from last week you won't be able to get away with. Yeah, well, you know, from the wood scrimmage uh, to LaSalle, I think if you look at a whole other level of, uh, of speed, uh, physicality. So we keep on trying to talk to our kids, you have to play faster, you have to play more physical. Uh, the running backs have tons of yards after contact. So we're emphasizing really, really finishing plays. All right, we're going to be back with more. We'll wrap it up with Coach Dan McShane right after these messages. Strong starts were essential on the field and in life. That's why PNC created the Grow Up Great program, a $350 million multi-year bilingual initiative that began in 2004 to help prepare children from birth to age five for success in school and life. PNC is helping children in our community more than ever grow up great. Learn more at pncgrowupgreat.com. PNC for the achiever in you. PNC Bank, member FDIC. Princeton University football is back starting on Saturday, September 17th when the Tigers take on Lafayette at 5 p.m. at beautiful Princeton Stadium. It's also fireworks night. So bring the whole family for a day of fun at one of the nation's most beautiful on-campus football stadiums. The Tigers return both of their quarterbacks and have several returning defensive players. Single game tickets are just $10 and season tickets for all five home games, just $40. This year, the Tigers' home schedule includes rivals Penn and Harvard, plus Brown and Cornell. And the opener on September 17th at 5 p.m. is against Lafayette, followed by fireworks night. To order and for more ticket information, go to GoPrincetonTigers.com. That's GoPrincetonTigers.com. Wherever weights are racked, rackets are swung. To move is to live. And wherever you find bodies in motion, you'll find people who've rebuilt their lives with the help of Rothman Institute. Balls are pitched, skates are laced. More bones repaired, more joints replaced. No body in our region has done more for more bodies than Rothman. Lawns are mowed, swings are pushed. So when you're ready to run again, ride again, move again, live again, think Rothman first. RothmanInstitute.com. And we're back once more again with the Dan McShane Show. And Coach, you're coming into your second game of the season for Pennsbury this year. Got a win in the opening ball game. And as uh, you know, we've talked in, in other years about that. I've talked to Galen Snyder about it, and maybe uh, your philosophy may be the same. And, and that's the fact that a lot of times after that first game, the kids make a really you know big change up and are able to you know, move up to that, that second level when they play that second game after having at least one under the belt. Yeah, we, we hope so. I mean, but uh, it, just the idea of uh, playing faster and, and understanding, you know, learning from your mistakes and, and building on it. So we, that's that's our point of emphasis is, we, you know, again, we're not going to play perfect football game, but we get better each week. You know, when you look at it too, uh, DeMarcus came in there, do, did a job for you when he had to, and that second half of play, would he be the one to start out for you today, this week? I'll never tell. <laughs> <laughs> now, of course, of course. He, he's our number one guy. And he's been practicing, uh, you know, all week. Uh, and so, yeah, he, he, we're going to go attack. And, and uh, the running backs will be by committee still. Yeah. We'll be like, you know, we have a top three or four guys. So, Okay, we're going to be ready for a good one. And first, we're going to be going out there in just a bit, of course, to get ready for that ball game. As we know, of course, this is going to be a good one tonight as the sound will come to town and be the second opponent for the Pennsbury Falcons this year. And so for the Dan McShane Show, I'm Vince Reed, and let's head on out to uh, Fairless Hills at Falcon Field, where Pensbury entertains LaSalle. 